Hey guys, welcome back with another video with Link Scene. Um, first things first, I want to tell you guys um, my sound again. I'm playing around with it. I'm trying to sort it out. So if you hear a little bit of static in the background, I am very sorry. I'm really just trying different settings, different mics. I have three different mics which I'm trying at all times and uh, trying to find the best way to communicate with you guys. Basically, what the problems are till now is I use, if I use an external mic, for some reason, there's a crap ton of static, like zzz. And if I use this mic, which is the inbuilt mic, you might hear a lot of fan noises. Hopefully, with this specific setting, it should be okay. And my voice should be the main thing you're hearing, the main thing you, you can get. Um, but yeah, without further ado, welcome back with another game. So, uh, what's this game? Well, it's a, g a friendly game between, um, I believe, the Moratori who are defending. Uh, Marshall sent me this replay. Marshall just saw sent me this replay from in here. And it's a coalition of people who are attacking. I did not take down their names, but we'll figure it out at the end. But I know there's Marshall, there is Zisti defending, amongst others. Uh, there's Madra as well, I think. And attacking, there are Grease, Gato, Dylan, um, and Craig, I am not sure, but could possibly be Craig. But anyway, it's a 4v4. We haven't had one of these in a long, long time. So just let's get stuck into it. So Cold Kiss uh, is on the attack along with Arveni from the uh, east side. No, that's the west side. Uh, yeah, that's the west side. On the east side, there are uh, Egypt over there and the Seleucids and... They got themselves some onagers over there, some ballistas. No, it's just onager over there. Beautiful onager, which is absolutely great because you can hop them in and kill a lot over there. Then defending, we have Galatia. We have Kush, uh, which are super strong factions. We have Tillis and Nabatia also. All of these factions in this game, with the exception of Colchis, are considered to be at least A tier, a B or A tier. Colchis itself, I believe, I consider, I personally consider it a C tier faction, but of course that's everyone's uh, different interpretation of it. There are Gallic Hunters placed here to try and take out the siege equipment there, and another unit over here. I am not sure why that Ballista is over there. Now, you're going to tell me, what the hell, Linksy, what the hell are these? These are siege towers, boys and girls. These are siege towers. And these siege towers are placed up here, and I'm like, what? But think about it, guys. I actually went ahead and checked. Um, you can actually place these siege towers up here using uh, guerrilla deployment. Um, so this is quite interesting, being able to put these siege towers up here. This unit of tribal warriors is going to get melted. Uh, these units of shoto warriors are going to get melted. It's going to be a lot of damage, especially uh, on these. Uh, this slave infantry will not get that much done to them. Interesting that Galatia has got a Celtic Scorpion in. Uh, so there's a Celtic Scorpion, two siege equipment on that side. And on this side, there is a Celtic Ballista. Over up here, there are a couple of siege towers as well, trying to snipe anything they find, and those that we are going to get it. So let's get stuck into it, and let's see what we can do. Um, okay, yeah, we're, we're off. Uh, first things first, it seems Eastern Spearmen are charging up the hill. Oh, I didn't notice there's a Greek Ballista over here as well. First things first, this, oh my god, oh my god, uh, is this lagging? No, it's not lagging, it's fine. Yeah, it's doing absolutely fine. Uh, just the lag from yesterday, I believe. Okay, um, so interesting that the Eastern Spearmen going up that route is going to be difficult to go both sides. Noble Cav just floating around. Um, that ballista burnt to crisp quite fast. Uh, these Gallic hunting hunters did lose 20 men and uh, these Gallic hunters here uh, I believe are still pretty much full health a couple of them died as you can see them dropping around here and there but not that many those siege towers those arrow towers are really really fantastic when you do put the siege equipment like that put a unit of watchers or uh, Celtic slingers uh, in this case because I believe that Galicia does have Celtic slingers uh, or a unit of slingers they'll be able to do so much damage absolutely ridiculous volumes of damage damage so as we're saying that uh, i want to see how are these guys doing so these guys are technically still hidden yeah there because there are no units up there there is everything still technically hidden so only when they start taking the walls we we shall see the damage being done 
and uh, the hillmen pushing their tortoises up to the wall and trying to do damage. I'm gonna be ping-ponging each side over here. Uh, more tortoises are being pushed over here. This Attila's Ballista um, over here, Scalti Ballista, getting crap ton of kills and those um, uh, Egyptian infantry and the kills are just going to be racked up. I mean, 130 kills easily couldn't get to 150, uh, even maybe 200 if you know if you just put it to a side over here these guys are all in disarray just bounce it along that line and this unit of Egyptian infantry will be gone Eastern Spearmen running down taking the other uh, tortoise and pushing in and trying to do damage the walls are being broken spears will be splintered shields will be shattered it's a red day it's a blue uh, I love that quote too uh, that speech too much these hellmen are taking their sweet time charging in though so that's going to be lovely Ooh, nice breeze Oof, that's lovely in a summer day uh it's really been really hot uh, the past couple of days i think it's reached over 30 degrees celsius and that's always uh smoky uh so this ball is the 153 kills uh tortoise breaking in and they're getting their other tortoise to probably break that wall in as well these slave infantry are going to do very 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 decent damage over there with their pila and then support from these uh, Celtic Slingers over here will do the rest. There's a lot of Royal Kushite Archers, which are just a fantastic, fantastic unit. I really love the fact that they have so much. They do have poison, which is not very prevalent in Archer units, but that's the case. Um, these Easter Beam are getting wrecked. Uh, but as we say, that Syrian Heavy Archers on the hill, and they're going to really enjoy munching on these Desert Hoplites and Levy Freeman. But most of the defense is holding their defense to the center of the city, which is very smart. I mean, they understand that on the walls over here they're going to lose, and they understand that with the support that they have over there, the attackers will be able to melt this side really quickly. So the attackers move in their Celtic uh, warriors, ready to flood the gate. Uh, the gates yeah again as i was saying if they the defense did put a defense here um these guys would kill so many kills it's absolutely ridiculous but it does neutralize this amazing kill spot which does incredible volumes of damage okay so this one is uh brindisium or is it oh it's i think it's the the greek version not the roman version so the roman version um has I believe up here the capture point up here whereas the Greek version just seems to be the capture point because it's very big but again both of them are capture points um, the victory point I was uh, trying to say Syrian archers are moving back they're preparing for the walls to be broken down uh, these slave infantry getting peppered down Galatian swords not but uh, yeah these slave infantry getting absolutely peppered uh, from the rear and they're gonna get really slaughtered by those siege towers on the wall over there I mean, if you have extra siege towers and you're not going to use them, bring them anyway and take down the walls as best as you can. The one downside is they only have four uh, tortoises on both ends and that does only so much damage. Uh, what is this? Yeah, they're, they're trying to break the walls in multiple locations. Uh, these desert hoplites are like, oops, oopsie daisy. I don't know why he didn't break through here because this is really important. Um, yeah, they're giving up the front here, but not here. With Torak swords, you could have really just overwhelmed this place and pushed back. What? What? I don't know. I don't know, no, don't know. So the onager is coming up here. Um, these guys are not firing yet, which is absolutely fine. They're preparing. They're seeing like, ooh, who can we kill? Ooh, look at them. Shoot at them. And get them dead. So the walls over here are broken. Um, Celtic warriors. Ooh, a lot of those Celtic warriors died as they were charging in to their own wall collapsing. Celtic warriors and hillmen just charging in. These uh, Kushite slaves didn't get that much damage done to them, but these ones did. These ones lost 30 men. Uh, and Galatian swords up here being pushed in. Syrian heavy archers, and the arrow tower is being taken. The horde is charging in. Galatian swords are countering the Celtic warriors, but then hillmen are engaging those Galatian swords, which is, um, I mean, hillmen are hillmen. They do what hillmen do best, and they just die. That's the, that's their job. Um, lots of eastern archers and lots of chosen swords in reserves. Uh, Cartley X-Men 
Who should I be? Well, the only heavy uh, melee infantry which have axes. Uh, they have decent attack, and their weapon damage is limited, but uh, out of that, they do have to have 10 uh, armor piercing, which is absolutely redonkulous. Redonkulous, I tell you. As I'm saying that, more troops are coming in. Unfortunately, the attack is not going very well. They don't have that much archer support, which they desperately need. And they, I mean, they, they are swarming in. They're absolutely swarming in. They're running through these units, which are in complete disarray. It's just a massive melee over here. And eventually, they will cut through, because these guys are all, like, uh, you know, weak units. But they're losing a bit too much, in my opinion. A bit way too much. Uh, these, yeah, these uh, Celtic Corps over here got absolutely hammered. Uh, they're trying to kill these Galatian swords, which is absolutely fine. Breaking the center is always a good idea. So the Galatian swords in the center are breaking, but they're holding the side as the defense is doing its own thing. Meanwhile, over here, these um, uh, desert hoplites have been surrounded. Levy Freeman trying to charge in and support more desert hoplites with charge up to the walls. But uh, it seems that was the end of that. The Storax swordsmen getting, capturing the gate and Galatian swords charging up to desert hoplites and doing their thing and that will be a lot of damage being done I'm not sure what these Shotan warriors are doing they're like chilling looking at each other like ooh look at my shield my shield is amazing uh, these guys are gonna get a lot of damage by those towers and slave infantry over here okay um, they, the hillmen have died pretty <laughs> I mean, the hillmen are hillmen, they don't do that much damage, and it is very limited what they can get. These Celtic Warriors did come back, but uh, more troops are being charged in, so Chosen Swordsmen have charged in now, and honestly, this did not go well for the attackers at all. They did break in, but at what cost, and honestly, the defense hasn't even used any of its elite units, and it has so many archers left, so much units left. Uh, this Noble Cavalry got in uh, the settlement somehow. They charge through here and it's running around in the settlement but it's getting peppered oh it should have really gone down this route because if it did go down here it could have attacked these syrian archers and done beautiful amounts of damage there or even just rear charging these uh Kusha slave infantry because that's what it needs to be doing how did it get into the settlement yeah rear charging these uh, slaves is uh very important pilatro yep they did oh they did not get the pilatro oh Downhill charge on those slaves being sandwiched between um, Noble Blood Cav and Old Sworn, uh, sorry, uh, Celtic Warriors in this case, but they, that was a brutal charge. This cavalry getting 80 kills on a singular charge, 90 kills. They're breaking all of this and they're getting the damage done. The general sniping from the ballista over here, uh, that must have been Greece. Greece is the guy who plays Colchis a lot. He's trying to build Colchis back and he is trying to. Oh! Killing five of those general units. Pretty fantastic, I have to say so myself. Okay, so the defense over here has faltered and has been pushed back. But again, a large number of archers still exist. And a large number... Again, these Syrian archers over here could do miracles. And uh, these Galician engineers are not going to be a soft target. There are a lot of uh, siege towers up here. And uh, oh, the Gallic Hunters moving in into the rear. And probably going to try and get some decent shots in that back. Noble Horse here trying to do its thing. These Galatian swords having second thoughts about charging into this blowout down here. The artillery down... Oh! That was a close, close miss. That would have been disastrous. Yeah, like, that is just... That is just... Damn. These Galatian legions are getting bombarded, and uh, Colchis should not stop, should put the pressure up, as it will do a lot. Over on this side, a little bit less action is happening, it's mostly just hoplites being uh, charged in, charged out against Galatian swords over there. Galatian swords getting a decent amount of kills. Thorax swordsmen over here, ripping through these desert hoplites, which are completely out of position, and they're trying to reform, but that means that those desert... Uh, those Thorax Swordsmen could actually run and they should run towards here. There isn't enough cavalry for the attackers. They need more cavalry because if they had a cav unit in uh, close by, they could have easily charged back here and they would have killed all of these number 19 heavy archers, broken the rear of these hoplites, and just put so much pressure on the defense that they wouldn't have been able to deal with it. 
but they're not exploiting the fact that they've actually moved these guys out of position they need to be sending troops down this way and their troops are still outside the settlement so the attackers over there are making significant mistakes and one could call them that there's no armored shoto which is interesting there's a lot of tribal warriors which i'm noticing and tribal warriors spam is a fantastic strategy of just completely overwhelming your um uh, your enemy now because you know they grind them down ah, jesus christ I'm, I'm nearing my afternoon nap guys okay give me a break i i always need my afternoon nap i am an old grandpa and if grandpa does not get his afternoon nap he's cranky hence why all the yawning is happening um as we're saying that these syrian archers are in a decent position to kill all of these gallic hunters which are really out of position that was a really good volley yeah those those gallic hunters got melted absolutely i mean look one volley did to these guys yes yes for those three archers 62 kills on very very uh ammunition heavy uh archers over there so that's great the yeah they need to be pushing up really heavy up this way not stopping they need their archers here to try and put pressure on the syrian archers over there because these guys uh eastern archers 150 range yes but again it's very limited in what they can do these syrian archers over here are trying to dodge which is absolutely fantastic i'm getting the hell out of dodge jesus i forgot how tiring 4v4s are yeah as i was saying these dark swordsmen ended up getting surrounded and um yeah the attackers did not uh, have anything to support them with because if they did these guys would have still be alive 229 kills is decent though on sword swords fresh dwarf swords charging in getting those hoplites and the side celtic warriors over here fighting galatian swords and those hoplites are gonna get surrounded more Torx swords syrian archers are in position these nebatine archers are down 40 men and these galatian swords finally breaking through a hoplite wall and more hoplites are coming in whereas the uh oof royal kush archers are firing at these cretan archers melting them these cretan archers barely getting any kills Compl again as i was saying these uh Torx swordsmen need to be putting pressure here a lovely charge with like these are slave infantry they would break so fast uh, even like these guys right the Syrian archers shooting at the slave infantry from the side and then the torque swordsman charging in absolute madness and these guys wouldn't even survive they don't even have any troops over here and they can see pretty much everything with the exception of these two you can see most of the army where it's placed they can see there's a lot of troops here because uh, they've been seeing the movement so yeah there's that so the defense is moving in more celtic warriors in and they're putting up positions over there it's noble blood cavern 151 kills celtic warriors charging in there these chosen swordsmen charging their uh axemen they're just having a, um hmm. they're just having a staring competition over there the scorpion is doing its thing why are these guys these left three men still there they need to be pulled into the fray so the attackers are doing really well on one side but on the other side they are being absolutely disastrous um they're really not doing that well these uh kushite archers are getting really decent shots in there they've killed a lot of cretan archers again okay he's the, whoever, whoever that is the solicit player is finally doing it but again you need your torque swordsman to be moving but because by the time the torque swordsman get here these guys are going to be dead and if they're dead and your torque swordsman aren't there to exploit it what was the point <laughs> right like a calf charge right now like Hellenic Rancers, like Hellenic Cataphracts charging in, getting in the rear of this, killing all of this. Defense is done, they don't even stand a chance because those archers are going to be really useful. These Noble Cavalry are uh, gonzo, yeah, and the attackers know exactly what they're doing. Uh, sorry, the defenders know exactly what they're doing. They need to get rid of all that cav because that cav is pain in the ass. These tribal warriors down a decent amount of men um, from the ballistas up here as they were exposed and you know these these guys do damage and they do a decent amount of damage um so everyone's just moving there doing their own thing the assault is being really slow oh they did have they have a gamma cap pull them in you can break through this line and it's at a really bad angle like if you charge here just they don't even stand a chance and then you get into their their uh, missile lines yeah, they 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 have the right idea. It's just it's taking them a long time to think about it and to do the thing that they were meant to be doing ten minutes ago. 
because we are 27 yeah, minutes left in the game. These uh, Celtic Warriors are trading Pila with Stave Infantry over there. I believe this is the victory point because they're putting a lot of pressure there, but these guys should be just charging. They will overwhelm the Slave Infantry. Uh, and you just pull them up and charge in. Yeah, these guys are getting completely plastered. Um, no Slave Infantry are paying for themselves. Their initial charge, of course, is not going to yield that many results. But again, there's this gap over here which is be not being exploited whatsoever. That is a pot and that needs to be defended which is not uh, the case currently um, this ballista is just having a field day over there uh, killing as many of these Galatian legioners as possible Siri Celtic slingers are going back there again cavalry is needed there is another noble blood cavalry over there but that is the general the general is an old sworn for the Arvenia of course there are two old sworn in the rear I mean old sworn are a fantastic unit but cav is noble cav for Arvenia is absolutely fantastic so again the uh, Torax swords come in, but uh, it's too late now. The missiles have been pulled back. They can see what you're doing. You you wait too long, man. Too long. It's way too long. You're giving these guys chance. It's not going to be a push through if you do actually attack from here. I mean, who's gonna tell you that's a push through, right? The units are in disarray. Heavy calf charge charging in. They would melt those uh, stingers. What's up here? There's a Torax swordsman up here. There's more units. Oh my god, carry an axeman for. Uh, I mean, if you can get get Galatian Royal Guard, get a Ptolemaic, uh, uh, Ptolemaic, Ptolemaic Calf, Jesus Christ, sorry, words escaped me there. Because Ptolemaic Calf can do such miracles, and they're just absolutely fantastic, phenomenal, exceptionally phenomenal unit. Uh, this Scorpion hasn't done anything yet. The charge over here is doing really well. Oh, there, there was a Light Horse unit over here, which made it in into the settlement which I wasn't seeing before but again this light horse unit is it's a bit too late now these tribal warriors are holding the line and chewing those through those tribal warriors you need archers in the decent positions Kushite shows the warriors moving in uh, over there along with Galatian swords the noble calves moving in slowly trying to find a good position I believe that this is potentially a really big waste of ammunition Firing units over here. I mean, yeah, you're killing uh, Shoto and stuff, but oh god, these Galatian legioners. But uh, you need that artillery up here right now, blasting through this side, doing as much damage as possible. The defense is really struggling on the east side, sorry, on the west side, but wait, north, south, east. Okay, this is the east, this is the west. So the, on the west, it's really struggling. On the <laughs> on the uh, east, it's, it, the defense is really doing well. It did get those slave infantry broken. The cavalry finally charging in, breaking those Celtic slingers as just predicted. But those Celtic slingers getting, uh, they didn't get that many kills. But they did do quite a number of uh, damage to the attackers over there. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, if he runs in through the back here, brings it here and rear. Like, if these guys are sold and he rear charges them, that's just shattering uh, them really quickly and just doing a lot of damage. Yeah, that, see, that is how you use calf. That was a beautiful use of the calf. So lucid player, kudos there. But uh, your army has been pretty much spent trying to win this little corner and you are losing the ammunition fight, with the missile fight with the defense. Again, you're not exploiting the fact that you've done this. You don't need to keep killing them. You need to run and you need to escape that. You need to rear charge these tribal warriors which yeah he's pulling them back and the defense is actually on point here doing a really good job on uh, the small gaps that are forming in their lines wherever they form they do their gaps this guy is just trying to collect as many kills as possible whereas they should be really pressing on the attack granted they do not know what's back here but um i mean even just running down this way um oh those oats were are now out of position Dude, those oh, bring your calf here and charge the flank of those old sworn. These Navatine archers, the Kush general, all gone. Gonzo. Now, where is the art? Oh, the artillery is over here. It's, uh, it's finally shooting in. They did not abuse the fact that they had the hill advantage whatsoever. They did win the fight here, but uh, Celtic warriors, hoplites, are being thrown in. And uh, a lot of archers are still in position. This is a kill zone if I've ever seen one. Pilas are being thrown into those swordsmen. Swordsmen are absolutely horrendous unit. That swordsman getting rear charged. Uh, beautiful. And these Torax swordsmen charging in. 
um, abusing the fact that there was a beautiful rear charge there. This is Gamma Keva cavalry pulling back out, and those old sworn unit are uh, reforming. Again, the historic swordsman needs to charge into that old sworn and needs to do damage there. Again, this cavalry, 272 kills, doing absolutely fantastic, but. Galatian sword, dude, these troops need to be charging forward, not retreating, charging forward, they were out of position, oh boy, so over here, uh, Nabatea has Drakeen Palace Guard, so this is going to be a grind fest um, of the highest orders, because it, Chosen Swordsman will eventually beat Tribal Warriors, um, if by a very slight chance, but again, um, there's just too much to, for them to beat. They need to be breaking this side, and um, the Cartley X-Men are breaking through along with their Ballista. Their Ballista is the up to 200 kills, um, yeah, to, to almost 300 kills there, almost 285 kills, which is an absolutely fantastic number. But again, troops are in disarray. I mean, these um, those uh, those archers over there are getting absolutely annihilated for pretty much for free. The arrow tower here doing some decent damage on these units and more troops are being pulled up but it seems both sides are losing a lot of troops um the attack over here is waning and the attack over here is pretty much committed everything it has the artillery is 42 kills um these hoplites are not doing well hmm. i think there needs to be another charge of the cav over here there's kushite pikes over there yeah the cav the cav needs to charge back in the calf really needs to charge back in and break this because if that breaks, uh, most of the melee forces are over here. Fortunately, the attackers uh, don't know this, but they can see that there isn't much of a threat. They know that the troops back here are just archers. They can see pretty much all the way down here, so they know there isn't that much. They can even see these tribal warriors. They can see what's down this way, so they must know that the defense is over committed to this to their uh, north side. So they should really just charge in that cav and just be done with it i mean they did charge the torque swordsmen these uh swordsmen are going to die and that's absolutely fine but again it's too little too late now the pikemen are getting in position but again a charge in, in here would do miracles the pikemen are getting plastered as they're running away which is beautiful uh lead on from the attackers over here, Pilas being thrown into the flank of the Shotel. The Shotel, of course, getting dozens and dozens of kills. The Slingers also getting really heavily damaged. But now more troops have been pulled in, and they can see that the Celtic Wars. I mean, they should have realized now by now the attackers that this is where the reserves are being held for the defense. New Gamma Cavalry is charging in now, and it's prepared to do its thing. Um, a little too late, in my opinion. But it is going to do it. I think it just have, should have sh just charged the Shotel units at this point. Because these guys are out of ammunition. And there's only... S I mean, if you're going for kills, go ahead. But this is going to cost you too much. Um, yeah. Charge in. Pull out. Fair enough. Uh, grab a couple of, kill, couple of kills. Charge into these Shotel units. And just break them. And then uh, see what else you can do. The defense is falling back methodologically. And they're doing a really good job at holding the line. But again, this calf, if used correctly, could really ruin the lives of the defense. Absolutely plaster them to hell and back. Exceptionally close game, I must say, as well. Because uh, both sides are winning some, losing some. The charge over here went in. 362 kills on the Ballista. And the Cartley X-Men fighting Galatian Legionnaires will eventually lose because they're exhausted and depleted. But that Ballista has done some lovely shots, it seems, into the rear of the Shota and these Galatian Legionnaires. Um, the low block have realized, uh, and the Arveni realized they can charge through here, so Oatsworn charging against uh, Galatian Legionnaires, Oatsworn will win. And if you look at the stats, Oatsworn are just simply superior in everything but armor. Uh, but then the Celtic Scorpion from the flank over there will get so many kills. Yeah, these guys need to walk in quickly. Yeah, these... Uh, these guys are getting absolutely... I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. Seven kills. Um, they need to charge in and kill that scorpion as fast as possible. They did break through. Pilatro about to come in. Um, and these guys were pushed off their scorpion. And that Chosen Swords it needs to hold the line as long as possible. Over here, Chosen Swords are chewing to the second line of Tribal Warriors. And after that, they have Rakim Palace Guard and Desert Hoplites. More Shota Warriors in the reserve. 
And now, uh, where is the general for um, the Agamma general? 300 kills on the Agamma general. I'm really rooting for the general because uh, Agamma cavalry is one of my favorite. It's really good and does lots of damage. The defense is uh, panically retreating at this point. They're trying their best to hold the, the, as many places as possible at this point. I would just hold this square. I would hold over here because I don't care if they would come down this way. They would lose a lot of precious time and go for the victory through time. Um, Kushite Pikes are being brought in and Kushite Pikes will be able to hold this side for a long time since most of the archers have been wasted uh, fighting other archers and these Syrian archers over here. They're running out of ammo but they've done a really good job in holding the line. Against the, yeah, they're, yeah, these Eastern archers are doing well. They're still mostly alive but they need to be fighting with the Shoto warriors so the Chosen over here can break through. These Gallic Hunters are an absolute waste. Uh, oh, the noble, no noble cavalry broke through this side. Uh, noble cavalry did break through, and they're charging around. They've done a lot of damage. Where did they come from? Yeah, these guys are doing damage. They're killing up all of these archers that are remain the remainder archers. I think they managed to break through here some somehow. I think they wrapped around this way. And they're rear charging these uh, Galatian legions. They're trying to get the general out of there, but I think the general has just died or is about to die for the noble calf over there. Noble horse charging in and uh, trying to block, but uh, yeah, this noble cavalry did a beautiful job cleaning up those archers. And that's freeing up these cre cre uh, sorry, these um, eastern archers to try and snipe the general for the Galatia, which would be a really big win. The Noble Cav just coming back in and as all of a sudden winning. Um, these Cartley X-Men doing their thing, charging in. The, the remainder of Cartley X-Men need to move in though. They're out of the way and just, uh, it's fantastic. The attack is finally collapsing on uh, on the defense, but of course this is very limited in the scope of what is happening. Um, Torax Swordsman charging in and starting to deal damage to the Shotol and over here more troops are coming in. Now, this is not the smartest of choice, uh, leaving a Celtic warrior here. I would have left the tribal swords because this arch, uh, this arrow tower would have done so much damage. And placing these guys here would have killed these Celtic warriors. These Celtic warriors are trying to pass through uh, this side over there. Uh, no, wait, wait, these guys are uh, Celtic warriors from the defense. What am I saying? I thought they were also attacking from uh, the attackers. Balance of power still that even. And the, the fight over here has been going on for ages and ages. These tribal warriors getting absolutely wrecked, eroded, and uh, it's going well. This this general is somehow still alive, um, doing a lot of damage there. And uh, the ballista is coming in for more. Uh, they still have two of them, and they're preparing to do their thing. Uh, these X-Men are being moved. No, they're still still chilling in the rear. And they've isolated a large part of Galatia in the wrong part. Galatia does not want to be here. It wants to be with its allies holding the capture point over there. Uh, so, yeah, the victory point is up here, it seems. Uh, so they want to be capturing uh, and defending the victory point as best to their ability and doing their best thing there. Uh, but, of course, that is limited. The assault from the Egypt and Seleucids have, has really slowed down. I mean, these guys still have a lot of ammunition left. But they're not really using them effectively because they're just shooting into. A oh, these are pikes, which are okay. That's that's smart. The Torx pikes are stacked up with desert hoplites, so that's pretty much unbreakable. I would bring them here and shoot into these Celtic warriors, break through this, and then wrap around, um, do as much damage as I can. These that onager over there um, did some damage against the general unit of the old sworn, killing a few. But now troops are being brought up in the rear. Cretan archers still have ammunition will be able to do really well against the tribal warriors stingers are the best way to deal with those tribal warriors tribal warriors over here finally getting uh massacred with uh, side arrow shots into them and they're really getting uh they're breaking but of course wrecking palace guard and desert hoplites supported by shoto warriors they're gonna last a long long time these uh kushite pikes over here breaking off any hope of the attack from moving on the uh, scorpions bring bringing back the bacon and uh, they're prepared to get a lot of kills what's left well so uh Cimeria is still alive uh, no sorry Colchis is still alive 
with a decent number of troops on its roster. Uh, the chosen swords over here from Arveni are insanely depleted and they're charging the Rakim Palace Guard. Now, Rakim Palace Guard have 115 armor and they have 55 melee defense. That is before they go into shield wall formation, which they can go really high. What is going on to it for them is that they do have uh, 44 melee attack and 29 weapon damage, so these guys are going to die. They have a really lovely charge bonus as well, which is of 30. Again, these guys are absolutely a beast of a unit. They're stronger than uh, Royal Spartans, I think, in terms of pure armor. Um, so yeah, it's but then Royal Spartans have an insane melee defense, and they just don't die uh, because Sparta. Um, as I'm saying, that uh, Desert Hoplites over here and uh, Celtic Warriors are just getting cleaned up. The Arrow Tower here was neutralized. Celtic Warriors being committed to fight the Storax Swords. Um, they have actually surrounded these Storax Swords, and these Storax Swords are losing. But then again, these guys are getting point blank shots into the rear of those Celtic Warriors, and that is really not going well for them. The Taurus Spears coming in, and they're going to block those Celtic Warriors. Um, slingers over here moving in again. Um, calf charges. Where's your calf? Where's your calf? Where's your dudes? Dude. <laughs> your calf could do so much. Where is your artillery? Why are you pulling back your artillery? Your calf could massacre these old sworn units. I mean, your archers are doing a fantastic job, but that calf we are charging that old sworn. Who we and they just do that, just that they side charge the old sworn unit and uh that old sworn is days are numbered they need to charge through here uh they can see that there's nothing here and they need to go they can see this they need to run into these uh kushite archers they would do so much damage without a gamma cap like they would be able to break all of this and win the fight here right now why is this a gamma cavalry fighting these tribal warriors no 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 you're oh no you're losing so much for nothing why uh, noble horse charging and now it's too late uh these cretan archers are dead the store galatian royal guard oh my god uh such a massive mistake solicit player you're not gonna live this down i mean this guy got lots of arrows to the face um but now these guys are dead uh yeah he lost 40 men there pretty much the ballista over here just being moved forward and it's shooting at those archers and trying to do some damage no those are yeah the archers are trying to burn it down um uh, but again the axemen now charging in into those shoto warriors uh old swarm charging in and they should be able to melt that kushite archers will win that fight but this Agama cavalry needs to you know needs to break through they know there's nothing left through here this doesn't matter at all. They need to help to win this side. And if these Kushite archers die, they win. If those Kushite archers live, they lose. It's too late. They retreated. Oh man. That, I mean, the assault here is lost. It's absolutely lost. The Greek ballista over here is doing nothing. Uh, it's been burnt down to a crisp. I mean, it's going to do some damage against that, but 16 kills. Come on now. Who are you kidding? Point blank range. Oh, this would have been such a fantastic charge. So, I mean, this is like a cavalry is disappointing me, dude. Charge here, you get six hundred kills, easy, absolutely easy. Because the attack cannot move through here, they would need to go all the way around. Uh, they are going around. Uh, let's see. Wait, what? What is this? Onager firing its own men. Um, yeah, they can't even break through this because there are still Galatian legionaries here, Levy Freeman there. And the assault here, as much as it is breaking through, because the general died for no, the general is over here. It's it's dying, but there's too much arrow fire left. This this would have been the game breaking move. That a gamma cavalry would have been the game ma changer, but it didn't happen. These tribal warriors getting shot in the back uh, and they will not last for long. But again, that's all extra units. Those guys are just delaying you from what is really important. Now it's too late. Now the armored hoplites are moving in position. 
the uh, Noble Cavalry over there is, is still in position. And as even if you're winning here, it doesn't matter. Your allies needed your help 10 minutes ago because all of Colchis, all of our Veni have been pretty much cleaned out. They're doing damage. They've killed a lot, but they've been pretty much wiped out. There's not much they can do. The generals died left, right, and center. Um, these guys getting so much value for money shooting left right and so i mean these uh the uh, card the x-men are being uh destroyed the scorpion tower over here uh it, scorpions are you know being charged by the x-men the shoto warriors and old sworn going at it but shoto Warriors will beat old sworn in a prolonged fight and the general has died for our Vinny, it seems no it's still alive barely where is the general for our Vinny? So Chosen Swordsmen have run all the way here. They can see the entirety of the army. Cav, you need Cav. The Cav needs to charge in now. This, a Gamma Cavalry, needs to kill this for the attackers to win. The defense, the defense needs to protect these guys at all costs. Oh, these guys are running away. <laughs> these guys are running away from Cartley X-Men. Uh, but they're running into a kill box. Yeah, these guys were out of position. The defense have done insane work over here. Um, 200 kills on the ballista. Again, they were just delaying, delay tactics. I mean, these uh, armored uh, hoplites breaking those uh, Eastern Spearmen. Um, yeah, over here, these guys, poor guys. But the, they, I mean, they absorbed a crap ton of ammo. Um, that's absolutely fine. Celtic Warriors, yeah, too late, buddy. I mean, you should be able to charge through the Celtic Warriors, but you, uh, know, knowing how you've been acting, you will not. Oh, you didn't get the charge. You didn't get the charge. Oh, bye-bye, Agamakav. You've, you've done not so well. Uh, it seems the defense is collapsing over here, but at the same time, I mean, they still have fresh units that they haven't committed yet. They have archers, which still have a lot of ammunition. They haven't been used, so this is going to be held. The attack is not doing that well. These fresh armored hoplites are holding the line and they will win against the Cartley X-Men because they have just so much more armor. The X-Men over here are actually struggling against uh, Syrian archers. Uh, I mean, they will kill them at the end, but there's only so much you can do. And those Syrian archers are just pinning them in place, giving the X-Men over here time to win. Galatian Legionnaires charging from the rear. And the, Galatian, the Levy Freeman coming into the rear, cleaning up the rest of the attack over there. Unfortunately, this is all that's left of the attack. is just spread all over. This is game over for the attackers at this point. They've done well. This was a really, really good charge. Um, Arveni and Kolke uh, uh, did fantastic. I uh, cannot say the same for Egypt and Seleucids. Um, they do need to pick up their game a little bit, especially the Seleucid player. He had so many opportunities with his calf. To do miracles but unfortunately didn't. i mean the galatian royal guard will do a lot of damage yes but at this point army losses are kicking in um and that's not gonna go well and the axemen over here they're just getting picked off um also big big kudos to galatia and kush who uh, did miracles on both sides um they galatia especially holding up here as long as possible and the Kush uh, just spread all over the map, but doing really well with the micro, really well positioned uh, troops. And uh, armored desert hall. I mean, Nabatia did okay as well. But uh, this this could have been avoided. They should have just kept retreating slowly, pissing them off. Get, like, because Ballista takes so long to get in position, so just retreat, put it somewhere else, retreat, put it somewhere else. And by now, you should be almost here or here and just holding the line. Carry an X-Men getting a lot of kills into these uh, Nebuchadnezzar heavy archers. Um, but again, there's nothing left. I mean, these uh, these Galatian Royal Guard are surrounded. They're getting shot from every angle. They, they got 170 kills, but they won't be breaking anytime soon. But that's GG. Five more minutes of this. Yeah, let's fast forward. Because I believe that the, most of what could have happened has happened. And at this point, it's just cleaning up crew from the attack uh, from the defense i uh, just trying to um but uh, the defense has more troops left uh, of quality 
I mean, the attackers still have the uh, ballistas, uh, sorry, the onager here and, and the ballista over there, which could do a lot, but the ballista would take forever to come down here. We are 44 minutes in, so just 15 minutes. Would, I mean, it would take 15 minutes for it to come here, let alone position, and these troops are engaged. I think the attackers needed to put themselves in a good place uh, first uh, before beginning this assault. I think Arveni should have waited a little longer for Seleucid and Egypt to break through, and Seleucid and Egypt needed to focus on this side rather than that side. They overcommitted to one area, which wasn't really working out for them. And of course, we all know what happens when you overcommit, you lose. Uh, Nabatia just charging in over here, killing this uh, carrion uh, X-Men over there. And Archer's just still shooting, and this is the end. Yeah, this is the end. There's just too much left for the defense. Galatian Royal Guard collapsing. That was a really, really fantastic stand from the defense holding here for so long. It's beautiful. Uh, the Onager over here, 179 kills, but it's being burnt. Uh, and uh, that's it. Syrian archers charging in three of desert hoplites. More troops are being brought over from there. Again, they're bringing the troops so late in the game that it's too late. Like, there's no point. If they, you know, built up their forces and charged in, it didn't seem there was that much coordination from, from the attacker's side. Also, it's never that much of a good idea to attack from both sides. Even the 4 for 4 this map, take that hill, to attack from down here, to attack from up here, and just do, do damage. Yeah, now that the attackers are, I mean, what do they have left? They have the depleted unit Torx Swordsman over here, um, Greek Onager has no artillery, and Carrion Axeman, which is exceptionally depleted. I mean, yeah, the general is about to die. Uh, general, general will die if we rubbed all of Egypt, and the uh, Seleucid player has almost nothing left as well. And uh, that's GG. Yeah, the Torx Swordsman charging against Shoto. And Kushite archers charging in as well in the melee. The final melee, the bloody work has been done. There was also, of course, the pikes as well. I think the pikes got annihilated. Uh, yeah, they did lose a lot, but they did kill a lot as well. Pikemen are pikemen. They are a fantastic uh, unit in general. So, yeah. Game is set and done. And that's it. And replay. So let's see who was who. So Killer Rube, Madrad, Zesty. So Marshall and Killer Rube, fantastic plays. Zesty and Madrad, of course, re did really well. The B Man, the B Man. Oh, so it was okay. Wow. So there was Ma Mighty Cat from Achilles with No Heel, the Grease from the Greasy Boys, uh, the Greasy Lads, the Grease Lords, whatever. I don't know what they call it. The Grease Guys, um, and the B Man from the B Battalion. Um, and Mighty Gato from, uh, yeah, and then the Tilzaster, who is uh, an admin from the Coliseum Tournament as well. And then the others are the uh, Moritari, uh, and just absolute lovely game. I mean, if you look at the attackers, they got so many kills. Um, so Lucid, I mean, I have to give it to Gato. He did get insane kills. I mean, 300 kills on Taurus Spears, uh, 200 kills on Torox. A lot, but again, he overcommitted in areas he shouldn't have, and his missiles didn't do as well, his ballista didn't do as well, and that is the reality of it. Um, Disaster doing really well as well, a fantastic units of his, uh, fantastic use of his old horn. He needed to have a, a noble horse because that would have really helped with Greece's noble blood cavalry, which would have done miracles in the situation he was in. Uh, currently, X Men doing really well overall, but of course, I mean. They are what they are. They're a unit which are a support faction. The B Battalion, uh, the B Man himself, again, his uh, he needed to have a uh, Ptolemy Cav, and that would have done miracles. With regards to Marshall, uh, okay, let's see. Well, his arch is <laughs> insane. One of his arches is getting wrecked early on, but everything else doing really good damage. His Shoto War is doing as expected. Fantastic units and slave infantry also doing really well. Zesty just being a wall that cannot be broken. These armored Shoto, uh, sorry, armored hoplites doing 300 kills. That's absolutely mad. His Nabatinian archers didn't do so well. His general constraint situation he was in, fantastic. Madrat also, I mean, Zesty Madrat's job was to just hold the line, and that's what they did. I mean, their tribal warriors held for so long there, and that, that cost the attackers their victory. Killer Rube just doing the best he could. could. He was really outnumbered in various scenarios. His general was doing really good. 
his Syrian archer is absolutely fantastic, and his uh, at the end his Galatian legioners and Larry Freeman driving the game home, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, 50% don't subscribe. Uh, that watch my content, and that means I would basically have something like 700, 800 view, uh, subscribers right now. Uh, so hit the subscribe button, and um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have your own replay, send them to me on Discord. Send them to me on my totalwarbro@gmail.com. And yeah, let's get started. Let's get more of these get replays out there. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, when this goes live, it should be going live in a couple of hours. Um, I won't be streaming tonight till very late, if at all, because I just need like a bit of a break. I've been stressed out. But I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, there's this video uh, that's coming up, and there's also. If you haven't seen it, there's also the Age of the Empires videos that I uploaded. I played a lovely game this morning and it was just fun and I just wanted to upload it because I did have a decent build order for once. Um, just a small update with the channel uh, just before I let you go. Um, I am moving away from Total War. No, no, I'm not. I, I'm staying in Total War, but I'm also playing other games. So I'm going to be like showcasing games more often. And right now I'm really into Age of the Empires. I'm trying to rank up to... 1500 elo on age of the empires because that's really nice and i might even participate in a tournament next week which is fantastic um just so you know i want to get a mix of content i love total war i love strategy games but i love strategy games more than just total war so i will have more than just total war content coming out if you guys want to see a specific game if you think i would enjoy let me know and i'll check it out I'm still going to be uploading daily content to Total War, don't worry. What I'm saying is, instead of one video per day, sometimes you might get two, sometimes you might get three, sometimes you might get five, uh, no, you will not get five, don't worry. <laughs> I, I, I don't have that much time, because a video takes at least two hours to create. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a lovely day, and yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, peace.